Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your monthly readings for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Taurus. Taurus, please keep in mind that this is your general reading for the month of February 2022 and please pick it up what resonates with you, please leave the rest for others and I always request you people that if you like what I do, please do like, subscribe the channel and please put on your notifications. And people who want to connect with me for their personal private reading, which is a paid service, you can connect with me on the email ID mentioned below and I'll take you from there. So let me see how we can go about the reading right now. Taurus, what energies do we have for you in the month of February 2022? Angels, what do we need to know for Taurus? What do we need to know for Taurus? We have the world for you. That's lovely. And we have happy family. Taurus. That's a lovely time for you. Look at the cards. You have the world and you have happy family. Now let me see what do we have with your angels. Angels, message for Taurus, please. Angels, message for Taurus, please. What do we need to know for them? Angels, message for Taurus, please. Message for Taurus. It is ask your angels. And we have communicate clearly. Okay. Let me also see that which crystal is going to be good for you in the month of February. 2022 which crystal will be good for you for taurus february 2022 and post reading this i shall be pulling out your weeklies as well angels what crystal message please for crystal message please i'm getting two one is amethyst Another is Larry Mar. Okay. So if I see your energies for this particular month, Taurus, the overall energy is going to be very, very nice. There is a lot of completion, happiness, contentment. And the overall month is going to be a very good month for you. You are also approaching a completion of something and that is going to be a fruitful completion. It could be a completion of a job. It could be a completion of a business proposal, a business deal. Uh, you are also moving on to the another phase of your life. But when world appears, it tells you that all the energies are coming to an end. Because this is a natural, natural, positive process of change in life. So you will be moving from one phase to another phase of life. But the world says that whatever you need right at the moment, you are definitely going to get that because your need and desires are getting completed with the help of this world. And along with this world energy, you also have the energies of happy family. So this means that there is something on the cards, either it's a marriage I also see family extensions for a lot of you or a lot of you will be moving into formal commitments. But what I foresee that this month is going to be a very good month for you professionally and personally both. And in your angel answers, you have asked your angel. So this says that you connecting with your inner self more, you connecting with your divine, with your angels more, you know, is definitely going to help you so if angels are communicating to you you might see more feathers you might see more numbers you might see people talking about your topic of interest or maybe if you have a question in your mind or heart suddenly people start talking about those areas and you get your answer so this is the way the angels speak to you or maybe you have some stranger in your life coming and telling you with a piece of guidance or advice this is also the way when angels communicate with all of us. And in your another angel message card for February 2022, Taurus, the angels want you to know that it is important that what you want from people around your 
uh, you know, uh, in your life, in your personal, professional life, you have to be clear in explaining what you need, in understanding what they need, the what you want to make uh, your intentions very clear. So for that, communication has to be clear. There is no, there should not be no haywire and you have to be assertive in the sense that if you believe in something, you should have a you should have a say about it or you should be standing up for your own belief system that is what how you want to communicate what you believe you know to other people and what you have trust in into okay now generally i pull always one card for uh, you know uh, for this crystals but i was getting attracted towards two crystal cards this time and look at the messages. So maybe the messages want you to reach to you. One is Amethyst. And I would not say that either you prefer Amethyst or Lerimar because you have got two crystals here. It is up to you whether you want to prefer one crystal or whether you want to prefer two crystals. Now, whenever I say crystal, you can buy just a small piece and can put it up at your working table or near your area wherein you sit. But if you see the first crystal is Amethyst and it says revealing your true self. As you allow others to know the real you, you will feel loved when, uh, for who you truly are. So that is what communicating clearly, you know, come up with your own thought process clearly so that people should be very clear that whether you want to connect with them or not, or whether they want to connect with you or not. That's very important. And another crystal is Lerimar and it says sensitive emotions. Times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. It's time for you to put more emphasis on yourself. Put yourself in the priority list on top. What you want, what you believe, what is what makes you happy, peaceful and contented, that has to be given priority. So these were your messages. Now let us move towards your weekly. So I have changed the pattern of doing weekly from this month. I shall be pulling out four cards and I shall be pulling out the clarifying cards along with the, with the weeklies. Okay. What do we need to know for Taurus? What do we need to know for Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising? What do we need to know? So your week one has changed your life. And that was all the world talking with you. So you have two cards which are talking about the same message. Pulling out for week one. Week one is already changed your life. I'm sorry I'm pulling out for week two now. Let me see what do we have in week two. We have decision for you. That's another major arcana card. Taurus. In week three, you have six of Gabriel. And last week of February, we have two of Raphael. Okay. Lovely. Now, let me see what do we have in clarifying, in clarification of these cards. So clarifying week one for you. Clarifying week one for Taurus. What do we need to know for you, Taurus? We have Knight of Swords. We have Seven of Cups. That is why this decision is coming. We have Three of Wands. <laughs> in week two we have knight of pentacles again oh my goodness you have got two knights so far we have ten of cups a lucky sign lovely and we have my goodness we have seven of pentacles in week two I'm clarifying week three. We have eight of swords. We have star. My goodness. There is a huge wish fulfillment here. Taurus, let me absolutely be very clear with you here. You have ten of cups and you have star. Mirroring each other. 
this is definitely a wish coming true in the month of february week two and week three look at this you have nine of pentacles you have a lot of pentacles card this month it is now nine is again near to ten of pentacles bringing a wish coming to you in the last week we have ace of wands We have Chariot, Major Arcana. And we have Nine of Cups. Now, look at this very powerful reading. Taurus, be prepared, be ready. You are going to get a wish fulfillment for sure this month. You also have Nine of Cups and you have Ten of Cups. And you also have the master number 99. Please do not forget to go and Google the angel number 99 whenever you want to have a look at the angel message for yourself. And that's another way of angel talking to you. You have angel number 99. Now let me say you have two nights here, which means there is going to be a very strong moment in your professional life. I see that in the in the personal life you're going to have a very big wish fulfillment and i see definitely marriage for a lot of you formal commitments engagements are going in with your partner and on professional front i see a new job a dream job a dream home a money of your choice this month is going to be a lot of giving month to you so in week one, you have change your life card, which is a major arcana card for this deck. And this is definitely the world means it says a sudden revelation that offers freedom, break free of procrastination, embrace the opportunities that change brings. So this is definitely the world and the tower movement when there is a sudden change in your environment and you will see that you are moving yourself away from procrastination and the opportunities start pouring in for you the moment you let go you forgive you say i don't care for the past i have to look at the future the the, the procrastination gets over you're done with your tower movement the world appears new opportunities start coming and week one says you have night of source so there is going to be a very very fast forward movement especially in communication if you felt that the communication was stagnant, things were not moving, you will have that moment. And also you have to be very careful with your own communication, how you talk, what do you talk. And then there can be a decision a dilemma. There could be more opportunities and you might be into a dilemma with which opportunity to choose, which direction to go, which way to go. And there are multiple things on your table. So that is why you will be taking little time and for all these multiple opportunities, dear Taurus, you have worked very hard in the past because you have three of wands, which says that, oh, the work which was required, you have done it and now you're waiting for the result. And the result is that you are getting these multiple opportunities. So it's up to you that what you want to decide, because if you have three of wands, you are definitely preparing something solid for future. You are not only just preparing things for today, but you are preparing things for tomorrow and a long term vision and goal in, is in your mind for sure. And if you see your week two, you have decision. So this means there is a very important decision which you want to take and you're very excited with this decision making uh, what i'm sensing that sometime when you are in a dilemma of taking a decision you're into stress but i am sensing this is not a stress this is this is an excitement that oh i have a couple of things in my hand and the ball is in my coat and i have to decide that which direction i have to go so you will be taking this decision with a lot of excitement and happiness and look at this your week too Taurus, you have Knight of Pentacles, so the money is going to come to you, stability is going to come to you. This is going to be a very big prosperous week for you because you even have Ten of Cups, which is a sign of a marriage, money, wish fulfillment, moving into a house, getting a good family news, a dream job. And then you have seven of pentacles, which says that your own hard work is paying you now. 
is paying you full time. And so much of pentacles card you have in the week. You have knight of pentacles. You have seven of pentacles, which means no action required. It is going to come to you now. The stability, the money of your choice, because you have worked very hard in the past to achieve this status. So the second week is even more, is far more better than your first week. In week three, you have six of Gabriel, which is showing again a night. So February is going to be a, a month full of events and actions. And I'm going to write this into your line of uh, tagline. It says, congratulations, you have done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project. Awards, scholarships or promotions. And if I see your, if I see your cards what beautiful cards in week three you feel that you are struck there is no way out but this is not the situation this struck up situation is not in the in the physical relief it is in the mental relief that you are feeling blocked because you are supposed to take an important decision because there is a wish fulfillment in your card so when you have a wish fulfillment in your card when you have this wish coming to your you know card you also have nine of pentacles. So can you look at the strong tarot cards which are coming into your reading? You have knight of pentacles, you have ten of cups, you have seven of pentacles, you have star and you have knight of pentacles. Back to back. I mean there is something which is going to really, this wish is going to be really very big Taurus because this is not so, uh, it, it is not so normal and usual and frequent that you get back to back such wish fulfillment card this is 10 of pentacle with a star a long hope is getting coming true and nine of pentacle is you are at a such powerful stage of money stability that it is your own hard work which is now paying you in dollars so the dollars are coming to you <laughs> i will mention this in your line and this is definitely you reaping the benefit and reward of your hard work which you have poured in for past so many years or maybe uh, you know a month's time a few months time and then in the last week you have two of Raphael, two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful kindred spirit don't give up on those you love this is two people coming together if you feel that you are departed from your soulmate it's time i can also see that your ex is coming back and I also see that there will be your communication gaps are going to get vanished and you both are going to become one. And I also see that you're going to get good work out of reference for sure. Word of mouth, reference, you know, that is also coming to you. And your last week, I mean the whole month of February Taurus, what an action-packed month. In the last week also, again, you have a card of Ace of Wands, big opportunity coming to you, for which you are going to be very energetic, passionate, you will be very excited, you have a major arcana card here with Chariot, things will be definitely moving forward in a positive direction, and the Nine of Cups re ensures that your wish fulfillment is on your table, in front of you for you to enjoy the benefits i mean this is a mesmerizing reading i should say absolutely no doubt about it now let me see what do we have in your fairy messages what do we have in your fairy messages for taurus what do we have for you in february 2022 we have debt paid off <laughs> The tough karma got over. We have new career. Okay. And express your individuality. So we have the old weight and the habit of debt is lifted from you and your life. I'm sensing this is personal, but for most of you, it is professional. Your karmic balance has come to a position wherein you are going to only reap the benefit now. Your baggage is over. Your, the debt on your the shoulders, on your head is over. Your karmic account is clear and you will be moving forward 
on the plus on the beneficial side of the karma now you have another fairy messages which says new career your work focus is shifting in positive new and successful direction i assure you there is going to be a super super powerful new career for you and this new career is going to give you enough name fame and what you really deserve from your own hard work and karma it is going to come to you and the last card says express your individuality allow your true self to shine because you are awesome and i can really resonate it with the communication in the initial part i was saying that be very very clear in your communication that is really really going to help you out in the month of february you have a super powerful taurus you have a super powerful february month full of actions and dollars coming to you i'm going to write this right away into the reading and i will see you next time very soon do let me know that how you're resonating with the video and be blessed i will see you very very soon